Hello everyone, it is me, Mary, and today I decided to do a quick video. This isn't going to work for everyone. It's a Dollar Tree haul. However, it is an educational haul. So uh, if you have children, I think during the summer it can be very hard for kids and it can become extremely stressful for them and we want to minimize that. And the stress that I'm talking about is going into the school year and having this just a lot of flush of information coming on and they've got so much schoolwork and they are not really accustomed to doing it throughout the summer. So I think that it's a great thing to each his own, but just to reduce the stress on our kids to have them working through the summer as well. Okay, my daughter's a homeschooler, so she does all year long. She homeschools Monday through Friday. My son is not a homeschooler, so what he does is he actually does schoolwork Monday through Friday, but not on a full-time basis. So he'll do maybe two to three hours a day as opposed to six to seven hours a day. Okay, so let's look at some of the things that we found at the Dollar Tree. And you can find these at some of your bookstores. However, they're a lot more expensive. I got five different books, and these are great materials. The mathematics will last my child for about maybe three weeks or so, depending upon his uh, study load, and the reading will only last him for about two weeks, but it's a really good deal. So let's go ahead and look at some of the differences of these books. So the first thing I want you to see are the Common Core books. Now he's going into fourth grade, and he's actually reading a lot of science on a college level. However, it's still important, even if they're at advanced level, to make sure that they're reading at their own grade level. Now with mathematics, what I would recommend is you want to push them. However, if they're new core concepts and you're not a teacher, uh, because all schools teach differently, you may want to keep them at the grade level they were already at instead of introducing a lot of new material. Because sometimes kids are graded based upon the formula, how they're doing the math, versus the answer being correct at times. We want the answer right, but the formula and how they found it. So it may be hard to introduce new material because you don't want to go against what the teacher is going to want. So sometimes it's good to keep them at their own level. And even if you have, say, a fourth going into fifth and all you can find is third grade, at least they're still keeping up on core mathematics like multiplication. So the Common Core books here, these are a little bit more. Now they do have some reading problems, but you're going to see a lot of problems like this. And I think repetitiveness in mathematics is very essential. So you're going to see a lot of problems problems that are more so just blunt to the point. Now on this one right here, the Common Core workbooks with the uh, children, little superheroes, they're kind of fun. So you have a lot of different games for the kids to do. So what I would recommend, or at least what I do, and maybe it's not going to work for you, but we'll have two of these and then you can have one fun. So as long as they get everything right, they can do two of these and then they can go over and play a game. Okay, so that's how I would work that out during the day. Um, but they do have these here all the way up. They have um, kindergarten, they have first grade, second grade, third grade, up to fifth grade, and they have language arts and some different um, programs. So this one includes a free album download. And here is the promo and it's going to be songs for kids so they can start to remember their multiplication by songs. So that's a lot of fun. So this one right here, there's some mixed problems. So you do have some fun things here with the different charts. You have word problems. So it's going to mimic a little bit of the other common core, but there's still, it's still a lot of great work to do. Now, reading is something that is very important for children to continue to do. So we have these, which are national standards here, guys, to boost the test scores. So you have fourth and fifth grade. They had them to kindergarten. And essentially what you'll see is you'll see the book, some reading material, and then you'll see some comprehension questions. And then they'll have to actually do some of the writing to go into details. So it's really good to have these. I don't believe that they have the... Yeah, they do. They have an answer key. Normally, I just grade everything on my own because um, we read a lot of material together. But yeah, they have answer keys. So that's really great as well. So we have fourth and fifth grade, guys. So here we go. Oh, here's something that's really important. 
So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this. It can be relatively bland, especially if you don't have uh, <laughs> kids in school. But these right here can be shared, so you can have these in your classroom if you're a teacher. Now, they don't want them completely reproduced for an entire school district, but you can reproduce these for the kids in your class. Uh, many of them say that at the beginning of the book. Okay, guys, I hope you have a good one, and have a wonderful summer.